Hi everyone, welcome to SEO Space. And you're watching this video because one of your pages on your Squarespace website has been flagged for having thin content. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what thin content is, how to fix it, and also talk about some common examples that I see on Squarespace. Now, thin content is when you have less than 300 words on a web page. And this is important because if you want to rank on Google search engines, you need to have enough content on your web pages in order to communicate to Google what you want to rank for, but also to provide value to visitors that land on your website. If you've got no content on a web page, how is Google meant to know what you should rank for? How are users meant to get any value and understand what the web page is about? Content is just really, really important. And unfortunately, thin content is something that I see on a lot of Squarespace websites particularly photographer websites, architects, creatives who don't want to have a lot of content on the web page because it can look a little bit ugly. However, unfortunately, this is something that actually leads to them even not showing up on Google or not showing up for the right keywords it wants to rank for simply because there just isn't enough content on the web page for Google to even know what they should rank for. So all you need to do in order to fix thin content is add more than 300 words on a particular web page. Of course, you shouldn't just be adding words for the sake of it. You should be explaining what your product, service, business, web page is about, and even answering the common questions that your target customers have. This is gonna help communicate to Google who you're ultimately serving, and hopefully rank you higher up on Google for the sort of keywords that you want to rank for. Now, there are ways in order to add text on a web page without making it look super clunky. For example, this is a client that I worked with, a photography client, and they added this really neat section, this read more, read less. Uh, it required a little bit of custom code, but they've got this section so that it can have content on the website to rank for keywords that it wants to rank for, like beauty photographer London, but it's not really bulky and people can't see it unless they click read more. Another way that you can actually do it is by adding a FAQ accordion at the bottom of your web page. As you can see here, this is our frequently asked question section on the SEO space website, and it allows us to add more content to our web page to communicate to Google what we want to rank for. Some people actually say that FAQ accordions aren't ranked by Google. However, you don't always want to rely on these. You do want to have text on the web page, as you can sort of see above and as you saw in the example before. Now, one thing that I will just mention before going is sometimes on Squarespace, SEO space will flag pages that have thin content that you can't actually add more content to or optimize. For example, here, this is a client's website. And as you can see, when I go onto the page, you can see that this is actually a collection page of different events that they have. Collection pages, category pages, tag pages, there's quite a few different types of pages on Squarespace where you can't actually add text to them. Now, we are continually improving SEO space in order to identify these pages and not flag them. However, if you ever get a page flagged by SEO space where you need to add more content on, however, it isn't possible, all you need to do during the site audit process, you can actually skip these pages from showing up in your site audit results or if you're on a free plan, you can just ignore these completely. So for example, if I wanted to, during this audit process, to skip the event page, all I would have to do is select that, and this page, which I can't actually add more content to, i.e. I can't optimize it to follow SEO best practices, it will be skipped from future site audits. So there you are, guys. That is a walkthrough of what thin content is how to fix it, and some things that you need to bear in mind about certain pages on Squarespace. Now, as I've already mentioned, even though we do set a bar of 300 words, please always remember that when it comes to SEO, you always need to make sure that you provide quality content for your target customers. Don't just treat it as a tick box and throw a load of content on a web page. You need to make sure it's valuable. You need to make sure that it includes the search terms that you want to rank for. And that's going to really help you rank higher up on search engines. Of course, if you have got any questions, feel free to go through SEO Spaces support in the bottom right hand corner of our dashboard. Leave a comment below if needed. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.